The 2022 Nissan Patrol has been living with me for a few days now, so in this video, I am going to share with you what it's like to drive and live with this automotive icon. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome to part 2 of my 2022 Nissan Patrol review video. Now if you're looking for the full features video, you may click the link above because this is the driving impressions segment. Now before we begin guys, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well sit back, relax and enjoy the show, but first click that like button. Also special thanks to Nissan Motor Philippines for lending me the Nissan Patrol for a few days. Guys, you can just imagine my excitement when I got a hold of the Nissan Patrol for a few days because not only is this thing an automotive icon, but it's also one of my dream vehicles as well. However, just like all of the other great automotive icons out there, the moment that you come close and personal with this thing, well, that's when you realize that along with the things that make them great, well, there are also a few quirks that you'll have to live with. Now, in order for me to discuss with you my driving experience with the Nissan Patrol, let's hop in and go for a drive. Of course, the first thing that hits you is the sheer size of this thing. <laughs> I mean, it may not be the biggest full-size SUV in the country, but it can hold its own. Uh, driving it in tight inner city streets, it can easily scare off like smaller cars, uh, especially when you're in traffic and you're jostling for position. Now, that's one of the advantages of its bulk. However, you also have to be aware of where you can park. I mean, the areas where you can park this thing. And you have to make sure that you have a sharp set of parking skills uh, to match, <laughs> to match that, that appropriate parking area. The Patrol also comes with Nissan's Intelligent Mobility Suite, which is a huge blessing for this vehicle. You see, as I mentioned in my features uh, review video, uh, there are a lot of blind spots for this vehicle due to its, its size. So the driver assist aids, the cameras, the sensors, all help to keep this behemoth uh, from plowing into smaller cars. <laughs> now as for the steering system, well, surprisingly guys, uh, for a hydraulic power assist system, power steering system here, uh, the Patrol's steering feel is light enough. In fact, it feels like I'm piloting a smaller SUV. The feedback is also pretty good. Uh, you know what your front wheels are doing and the steering response is sharp enough. Now, Nissans have always been great driving cars and the Patrol uh, lives up to this reputation. Now, one of the things that I've noticed uh, during my few days of driving this Patrol is the suspension is not floaty. You see, most um, full-size SUVs out there, especially those that uh, uh, come from uh, US car brands, well, they tend to feel like you're piloting a boat. Uh, they tend to feel like, yeah, they tend to feel like they're wallowing around uh, as you're driving them down the road. But that's not the case with this, uh, with this Nissan Patrol. Uh, the Patrol's hydraulic uh, body motion control uh, seems to work well on the road. Now, as for the acceleration, well, guys, there's no replacement for displacement. <laughs> See, we have 5.6 liters here in a V8 engine. Woo! That's why it's equally capable, guys. Now, despite Despite having a weight of 3,500 kilos, uh, you don't feel it when you're accelerating in this thing. Woo! Wow! Yeah, it's no surprise that there's a lot of uh, patrols in the Middle East that are souped up 
and uh, can hold its own in a drag race against let's say Lamborghinis or Ferraris and other you know sports cars and supercars I mean guys when you put the hammer down wow listen to that Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness oh yeah the sound of that angry wail of that V8 motor wow it is an orgasm for me gentlemen and ladies wow Woo! oh my goodness oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> nothing beats a, a naturally aspirated v8 at full throttle oh yeah love it Woo! of course when you're always flooring this thing well the cost is fuel consumption i mean in city drives you're just looking at around two kilometers per liter if you're always stuck in traffic and uh, on a light city, city drive, you're looking at around 5 kilometers per liter. On the highway, if you just use a light foot, you're looking at 8 kilometers per liter, guys. Uh, but that's if you're just using a light foot. And it's such a shame if you're gonna do that. I mean, it's such a waste of all the power and all the potential that this um, Nissan Patrol can give you. Uh, but here's the thing guys, uh, this full-size SUV also has a pretty large tank. Uh, so uh, with the current price of uh, gasoline nowadays, well, a full tank for this thing uh, will likely cost you around 8,000 Philippine pesos. Uh, that's around $160 US dollars, so every full tank. And uh, most likely that full tank wouldn't last a week. So yeah, <laughs> this will give you all the power, all the prestige that you want, and all the luxury at a cost of an average of maybe a thousand Philippine pesos worth of fuel uh, every day. <laughs> While that might seem dismal or bad, you, you guys have to remember that the people who own Nissan Patrols normally don't have any issues with the cost of fuel. I mean, why do you think is it so popular in the Middle East, yeah? I mean, you get all the luxury appointments, you get the power, you get the, the intimidating presence. And if you're, let's say, a, a sheik in, in the Middle East, yeah, you don't give an S, you don't give an F about gasoline costs. Now, that's the thing, guys. You see that fuel bill uh, that the Nissan Patrol has is well worth it, especially if you take a look at the cabin appointments here. As I said in my features review video, I mean, the interior of this thing is plush. I mean, plush, 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 guys. And you'd sometimes forget that underneath all of this, all of this luxury is an, a super capable off-roader. Uh, that you could just take anywhere on the planet. So you're getting the space plus uh, premium materials, which is always a good combo. Now the NVH of this Nissan Patrol, guys, freaking phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal, guys. This is another advantage of piloting a full-size gasoline SUV. Uh, since we don't have a uh, diesel mill under the hood well it's refined it's quiet and yes i just love the fact that the response of this thing is so smooth and linear now the natural competitor of the of the nissan patrol is the toyota land cruiser especially here in the philippines the thing is the land cruiser outsells the the patrol uh, mainly because well the lc is equipped with a diesel engine. Uh, the thing is, guys, there was a time when diesel was uh, 10 pesos per liter cheaper than gasoline, but that time is already over. You see, at the time of this filming, because of all the rising fuel 
prices nowadays? Well, the cost of diesel and gasoline are practically identical, so the advantage of the Land Cruiser being a diesel-powered SUV is already erased. Now, here's another, another thing about the Land Cruiser. You see, the LC300 is now priced over a million Philippine pesos more than this Nissan Patrol. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't see any reason why anybody would pay that kind of money uh, for a Toyota badge. Because essentially, you can't say that the Land Cruiser is more capable than the Nissan Patrol. Because guys, the Nissan Patrol is equally capable uh, as the Land Cruiser and this thing uh, has seen action in some pretty rough parts of the world as well. So yeah, given the fact that, um, that the cost of fuel now, the cost of diesel is equal to the cost of gasoline and uh, the fact that gasoline powered vehicles are also cheaper to maintain in the long run, well, that already gives the advantage to the Nissan Patrol. And of course, we have that, that over a million Philippine peso price difference and uh, the fact that the Nissan Patrol also comes with Nissan Motor Philippines five-year warranty program uh, versus the uh, Toyota's, I do believe, three-year warranty program. Now, granted guys, this is a Nissan and that's a Toyota, so uh, there's a very slim chance that you'd be using the warranty. Uh, but I digress, guys. Pound, per, pound for pound, guys, since the, the advantage of a lower diesel cost has been eliminated, well, it seems that this Nissan Patrol uh, is now a better value for money than its arch nemesis, the Toyota Land Cruiser LC300. Of course, guys, uh, Land Cruiser purists will disagree with me. But then, patrol lovers out there who are watching this video will definitely agree with me. Overall, guys, while the Nissan Patrol may have softened up here inside due to the luxury appointments, the premium cabin materials, and all that tech, uh, but underneath all of this bling, its core rugged strength still remains. It's a great SUV with an even greater heritage and I am just so thankful to Nissan Motor Philippines that I got to live with the Patrol for a few days. Now, For those of you out there who are looking for a reliable and luxurious full-size SUV from the land of the rising sun, well, the Nissan Patrol is tough to beat, especially for its price. Uh, that is, guys, uh, as long as you don't really mind the fuel bill. Well, if you think about it, <laughs> if you're in the market for a full-size SUV, yeah, you don't really mind the fuel bill at all. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.